the Nets got some bad news today. I mean, it just seems like, look, they've had a bunch of good news. <laughs> Putting this team together, Blake Griffin wants to come. LaMarcus Aldridge wants to come. Obviously, he ended up retiring, but they had kept a lot winning of good news. Despite all of, right, they won at a ridiculous pace. Yep. But it doesn't seem like they can get everybody together. The band just continues every time you think. Every It'll time. be great to watch the last 10 or 15 games, Chris, or whatever's left, 12. See, what they when they put it all together, here we go with Harden with the setback, so we don't know what his uh, status is. Well, Harden, is. He was, to give him the news, he was working out today or Monday and experienced a setback in his hamstring. He's been out, missed the last six games with a hamstring injury. And uh, he was working out, thought he was nearing a comeback, and uh, he felt something. And then the test results, the MRI, revealed that he indeed had another setback. So Steve Nash actually, Rob, used this phrase, we're back to square one. And he said, we'll get him back whenever we do, and, you know, we'll see when that is. Now they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 games left. Right. And remember, Rob, he came back a few weeks ago, Harden, and had, could only play four it. minutes. Yeah, I think I think he played four minutes. But that was one like he missed a game and then tried to come right back. Right, right, and then he and right, then he remember Kevin Durant was out six weeks, right, with a hamstring injury. And so, uh, Rob, look, you know I've been high on Brooklyn. You've been high on Brooklyn. I will make, as, as we, you and I tend to do on this show and I do elsewhere, I'll make my official pick before the playoffs. I've liked Brooklyn. I've said I think they're going to win it. But, Rob, I'm getting the feel. It, it's very reminiscent for different reasons, but it's very reminiscent of what the Clippers went through last year. Now, the Clippers kind of had some attitude problems. They were, you know, taking the, the regular season lightly, a little, little overboard with the low management. They had some locker room issues, culture issues. The Nick, the Nets, I believe, Rob, I really believe their stars are on the right page, on the same page. Yeah, that's not an you issue. Know? There's right. no and, and and it seemed like also, Chris, they're the players who were left over from the, with the Nets from the other group, that they were good. That they, oh, yeah. that they were right. they were integrated. There was no animosity, Bruce no Brown. issues. Yeah, like uh, Joe Harris. Those guys Jeff get the Green, ball, right? They get to play. It ain't Nick like Claxton, they're standing yep. around and just those three are playing, or you know, when they when they were able. to They play seemed like them. they felt and knew we we be we're part of something special. Exactly, and yep. you know, we we all will rise if we win this thing. And so I'm with you on that. I, look, I you I don't think you can act say a hundred percent. There's no concern about where Kyrie could be mentally. Seems fine now, but could he have an issue? Yeah, possible for sure. But for the most part, I felt good about their mentality. I felt good about their – even the defense, Rob. Since the All-Star break, they've been middle of the road defensively, which is all they need with that offense. But the prob- two problems, the injuries and the lack of time on the floor together, and that it just is feeling like, Rob, it's not meant to be this year. I, I'm and, not there. Yeah, I'm not there uh, because I just have to wait and see who else is there, where's LeBron and them and well, AD. Well, that's a good point. You know but what I mean? Like, the Lakers, I, can't, I mean, the, I, I, today it was announced yesterday, Rob, that LeBron's going to be out a little longer. Right, like and a he's few not more ready. weeks. So, he's, right. yeah, people thought he might be close. Right. So, that's what I'm saying. I just don't I'll know. Give you that. Yeah, I just got to wait and see, like, and then Damian Lillard, right, Chris? He just got hurt. Hamstring, He's going to be so, out of hammy. And so they we weren't gotta, a threat, but it's still. No, but you, just, right. Yeah, your point is well taken. Yeah, We just have to wait and see, like, like we can still feel like, I think, like, if this team is together and they're healthy, I think they have a great chance to win. When this playoff started, and I, I told you before the season, I liked when it was Harden, I mean, when it was KD, and Kyrie, I like that team. Remember, I I told right. you that beginning before they even right. got Harden. You picked Harden them to, to me, win. I, no, you did, you picked them to win the East. With yeah, that team. I did with with that team. I picked them as well to win the East. I right. didn't pick them to win at all until right. they got you, Harden. Exactly, and then you changed. But you but you were right on there with the team that they had in place. Right. So so we got to see who's healthy. Obviously, 
if it's only Kyrie playing when the playoffs start, they're not winning anything. Not, no. uh, but if, if those guys, they take their time, get themselves together, uh, they got time. The season playoff doesn't start next week. They got time. But it's imperative that they get all together. And, yes, oh my God. I'm with you that it hurts a little bit that they didn't get enough playing time. And this will be a unprecedented situation where it would be big unlike stars anything come, we've ever right, seen, Rob. Right, come together and put together and win a championship in their first year when they didn't even play together that much during the regular season. That would be incredible. And I think, Rob, as and I have nothing but respect for Kyrie. Somebody was asking me the other day, who are the most – to two, the most entertaining, they asked me the most entertaining player in the league. Who, who, who did I enjoy watching the most? And I said, Steph! I knew you have you said seen that. him lately? And then I said, you know who else, though? Kyrie? I Kyrie love watching Kyrie. Yes, yes he, best handle we've ever seen in the league. Look at the way can, he finishes at the rim, yes, Chris. He's great unbelievable. Great finisher, can make every shot. But, Rob, I think he's their third best player, which isn't. That is not a criticism. I mean, they got two, maybe two of the top 17, 18, 20 players of all time in James Harden and Kevin Durant. But I I feel like if they had, if I knew they were going to have Durant and Harden, who are the, mo- the two that are injured, actually, if I knew that they'd have those two and maybe not Kyrie, I would still, I think I'd still pick them to win the East with just Harden and Kyrie. Mm-hmm. I mean, Harden and... um. Durant. Durant. I'm not so sure about any other combination. James Harden goes down with another setback. Kevin Durant still out. Uh, what do you think? You'll turn the way in with the eye couple. All right, let's kick it off with uh, Bryce in uh, Oklahoma. You're on the eye couple Fox Sports Radio. What's up, Bryce? Hey, what's going on, fellas? So what's good. up, man? Uh, so here's the problem with the Nets, man. I mean, there's all the talent in the world, and nobody can argue that, right? But the, the, the playoffs is a gauntlet, and there is nobody on that team that is mentally tough. You got Party Harden, you got Kyrie, who's a little bit of a head case, and you got Durant, who is just. They got soft. three championships. Come on, man. I, I, I don't buy that. The, I get it. I get it. But here's nah, the thing. But, but, like, but you're Durant, saying, like, but wait, hold on. I'll let you talk. I just. Go ahead. To just To just say that they're soft and they. No, Kyrie came back from a three to one deficit against the sure. 73 win. Uh, uh, Warriors, okay, and made the with, biggest shot to win the series. Kevin Durant arguably, beat LeBron James twice. Come on. With arguably the toughest player that we've ever seen in the playoffs, and LeBron James leading that team, we saw Durant do it with the Golden State Warriors with one of the mentally toughest teams we've ever seen. Steph Curry, everything rolls off that dude's back. Nothing bothers him. Clay Thompson, that dude just goes out there and does his job. Draymond's a little bit of a head case, but he can guard five positions. They've always had to have that supporting cast around them. Their their makeup, their mental makeup is identical to each other. What they haven't had, and I said this the other day, Durant has not Thanks to me call. led a team to the to the championship. He was the best player, but that was Steph's team. Uh, Kyrie, obviously LeBron, that was LeBron's team, and Harden hasn't won one. But, you know, I I just think my thing, Rob, isn't the mental lack of mental toughness, but if you just don't have that history together, when the going gets tough, when you're in a knockdown, drag-out series and the other team is really d you up pretty well, do you naturally revert to your instincts, Kyrie, to take it, Durant to take it to the hole? Harden to take it you know like that's if you don't have that muscle memory collectively then it can make it tough I'm not you know I, like I said I'll make my official pick before the preseason but I got concerns no I, I hear that if, if people aren't available then obviously it's hard to pick somebody but I'm just not ready to throw in the towel and think that they can't get it together or they can't get there if, if you told me the playoffs start tomorrow then then it's all bets are off I'm with you Andre in Massachusetts, you're on the Odd Couple, Fox Sports Radio. What's up, Andre? What's going on, guys? Good afternoon. How are you? Good evening, depending on what part of the country you're in. But to the business, we know what Mike Tyson said. Everybody has that good plan until you get socked in the mouth. And the Nets are going to get socked in the mouth. And who they have been during the regular season is who they're going to be in the postseason. And that's why there's serious concerns about this team. There will be an injury to one of the big three in the playoffs, in a dogfight, 
And then the question is going to be, will it, it doesn't matter who's going to, can they pull it together and move forward? And I'm sorry, they're, uh, I'm, they're, they're not the favorites. They're not the odds-on favorites to me anymore because Philly with Daryl Morey and Doc Rivers and, and some, they Doc have Rivers' to history, what, what do, history does Daryl Morey and Doc Rivers have about getting a team to the championship? Please help me, that's Andre. Great, that's, that's outstanding, Rob. They don't have the history. Okay, the so, so need, you're telling so me. Need... No, no, Andre, I'm just trying. Before you crown those guys, Doc Rivers is in Philadelphia for a reason. He had the team, Chris, last year that everybody picked. Am I right? He Rob, had the ro- the last he had seven the roster. He had Come seven on, years man. In, in, look, I'll give Doc this. He's done a good job this I'm year. I'm not. I'm but just he had seven I- years. Yeah, he he underachieved with the Clippers. Yes, and, and no that's why he ain't cold. Come sorry. on, let's just be honest. There's no his hands or butts. Doc about knows that. that if they would have done what they were supposed to do, Chris, and they got to the uh, Western Conference final and even lost. That would have been a step in the right direction right. for that franchise. They couldn't even do Absolutely. that. And they were up 3-1. So I'm not ready to cast, punch Doc Rivers and Daryl Morey's ticket. I'm not. I hear Sorry. you. Sorry. And Morey's do never it. been to the finals. Right. Mark in Sacramento, you're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. Mark. <laughs> okay. What's up, brother? All right, there we go. First of all, thanks for the monologue, guys, and touching uh, what we all needed to be in tune with. So that was, that was well said by both. And you know what, Mark? Thank you. You know what, for people, some, there are people out there don't want to hear it, turn the station. I'll, I'll tell you that. Chris and I are not going to come on this show and act like that, that, like, so, that didn't happen. Like, like right. it's not important to us. It is important. Tell them, right. That's tell them the listen. lead story on ESPN.com. Of right. course it is. It's so the big, biggest story it's, in the it's, country. It's, and it has affected yeah. sports. So, yeah. Yes. Anyway, real quick to this, uh, Mr. Parker, you did pick them to win it all. You know why? It's because you bet me a pair of Jordans versus a oh. pair of Black Stacy Adams. Yeah, I'm not letting you off the hook, <laughs> No, Come don't worry about it. <laughs> don't, no, all no, I got to no, do no, is look. Mark, if, they, if, 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 the, if two of the big three are hurt, are you going to hold him to that? No, no. I, I lose. No, okay, I lose. no, no. I no, I would, no, I would not, pay that's up. That's not a fair bet. I'm just yeah. saying he See, did you pick go, him to go all the way. Somebody no, siding with me. You know that. I would, I no. would, I would pay up the bet. I Rob bet, would I do bet it because he, he feels about the, my bet with him. Let me, well, <laughs> let me tell you this. I won't do that. Real, hey, Mark, real quick on Mark this, let me say this real quick. Let me say this, too. The other part is I know I got a bet with Plaxico Burris for a pair of off-white Jordans. He that they get that. that he he that he he bet me that they won't get to the Eastern Conference Finals. I'll take that. Yeah, bet. yeah. I I hope they get there, uh, but I don't think they will because they have an issue that I see. Uh, I used to be a, a 16 year track coach. I used to run track. Those dudes got soft soft tissue, hamstring issues, and especially hard. And I'd be concerned because he tried to come back too early. Sometimes those things takes weeks, months to heal, and his usage rate has been high all year. I'd be more concerned with Harden than I am Durant because his, he tried to come back and he just did it again. So keep an eye on that hamstring because he may have a problem. Let me ask you this, Mark, with your background in track. Um, a lot, you're seeing injuries all over the, the uh, league. I was going to say, Do you think this is, re- this is a result of the short offseason, only 71 days, whereas they usually get yes. almost twice as much? Yes. Legs can only jump, run, stop cut so much before you start to have ankle, uh, uh, quad, hamstring injuries. That's what you're seeing, ankle, quad, hamstring injuries. They're popping them all over the place. They're having these injuries. So, yes, I, I do think that. They, they got forced into that bubble. Then it was condensed. Then they had a short period of time off. Then they come right back, and they were at it again. And you can just see all across the league, I personally believe that these soft tissue injuries – have a lot to do with the last year and a half. I really do. Yeah, yeah. it's a lot of injuries, man, and it's bad. Thanks, Mark, for the uh, information, and thanks for the call. We appreciate you. It really is, Rob. It, 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 you can't run these guys out there like they're a bunch of robots. And, and I, get I get it, it. Chris. Look, the I, money I, I, was they on the table. Right. right. They, they benefited because it. It they, they wanted the money too, so it's not all the league. But they did want to start later. I, you know, Maybe that would have made a difference, but – they're certainly paying the price now, Rob, because it's like every other day you you look up a top player's having some type of injury. So 